had it not been for the talent, would I have ever gotten to go out? Um, because I, obviously, being a single gal and uh, uh, going out, and, and the wrestlers would, you know, they would protect you. And I said, God, I'd love to just be able to go out. Um, one, one fine time in Detroit, and this was just one of the beginning of the times that uh, Kurt insisted, Kurt, Hacksaw, they were all getting together and they were going to a, um, a what their famous little places, a strip joint. And I always told them, I said, why do you all go to a strip joint? I, you, you, all night long, you work the crowd and then you go and you get worked by these broads. You, you know, so, oh, well, McGurk, come on, you just need to go. So I'd already gone back to the room and uh, taken all the stuff off and um, the big hair was gone. And I said, come on, let's go. You can have a drink. We'll, we'll watch out for you. And I knew that it would be in good hands, so I thought. So in Detroit, there's pretty well uh, no holes barred that I learned. Um, they set me down in a booth, and I kind of looked, and they were all over. They were spaced out, and I can name some names. Um, but they, nobody was with anybody doing anything wrong. They were just being boys. Although I wondered why they weren't sitting in the booth that I was, and all of a sudden this gal just, I mean, she had nothing on. She just had just stilettos on. She comes in, and again, we're in this round booth, and she's bought and paid for by my lovely contemporaries, naked. And I mean, remember, I'm sitting, so I'm coming in contact with, she's naked and standing there. And like, <laughs> so they're having a blast to see how I'm going to handle it. And I, I just asked her, I said, if, I said, if you know anything, I said, um, if you can get me a drink, I'll get you out of this deal really quick because I don't want you, you don't want me, but you're being bought by those idiots over there. I mean, you know, I, and they just had a big laugh. And all I wanted was a drink, but I was, again, you know, let's see how Mike handles this. And I would, I'd be like, <laughs> and so they'd all laugh from her, from, and Kurt was a, a dear, dear friend, uh, Hacksaw, all those guys, but uh, they thought, well, they didn't have anything, I guess, no other entertainment except bring their little announcer out to uh, make fun of, but they were good to me, you know, again, they never got me, they never let me get in a, in, a, in a bad way, and in fact, if somebody did come up to me, those guys were on them, I mean, if I, that's why I said I'd never. Is there anybody that you want to single out as being protective or looked after you particularly? No, it was probably probably a big group. I mean, even from uh, it was a, even from if I'd board a plane and uh, uh, Haku uh, would see that maybe I got overlooked and I didn't get the yogurt or the banana of the day, and he would he would notice and he would say here, and would give that to me. So yeah, but they you know they had to be very careful to not let you know the other boys see, you know that they were too kind to me. And as it came on, you know when I first came along, they wanted to make sure, you know, nobody carried my bags. Nobody did that. I didn't ever ask for any favors. Um, but, and I've said it so many times, and I've worked for people in public office, I have never been around more worldly, um, great people than the boys were to me. And they were, they were gentlemen, and I can imagine, I used to wonder about, I think, oh my God, what those poor wives go through and think, oh yeah, if they only knew, you know. It, <laughs> They, they were very, and I would tell them, I said, you've raised them well. well they're trained pretty good, you know. They, they've, been, they've been pretty good to me. But they were, they were very good to me, including Vince. You know, I, I mean, we came through a period where um, they were talking about sexual harassment. And uh, Linda was very worried about it, Linda McMahon. And uh, she goes, well, Mike, do you feel threatened or anything? And I said, my God. I said, if it wasn't for sexual harassment, I wouldn't get compliments in this world, at least, with, and that's true, you know, if they could say, hey, you're looking hot out there tonight, and, and, and that's what they would do, and that meant everything to me because I was a part of them. And, uh, uh, yeah, and I said, Linda, don't take that away, you know, because it wasn't offending. It wasn't, they never said anything offensive to me whatsoever, Vince included, and whatever that thing is on the Internet. First of all, let's make this clear. I am. I'm, well, hold on, because yeah. a lot of people are not right here looking at the Internet. And so.